Hey guys, Drewski here, and today we're playing some Gunner Heat PC. <laughs> really? Okay, hi, this is Gunner Heat PC. It's a sim light tank game, you know, sort of, you, you drive around with BMPs, you got everything from M1 Abrams, you got M60s, you got Scout Car BRDMs over there, I don't know if you can control those yet. I've just started playing, you got BMP1s, and uh, BMP1 is an interesting vehicle, if you go and glance at its Wikipedia page, or any sort of like documentation. I remember a while back, I read about how this tank was... <laughs> Russia thought that this this IFV would be, you know, well equipped for nuclear war. A lot of their tanks at the time were built to, or at least they wanted them to be, built to fight against radiation and protect the soldiers from RADs as they, uh... Fix the enemy to the left. Okay, there's enemies to our left, to our south, I guess. Let me see. Do we have... Oh, yeah, we do have enemies. That is... Looks like 600 meters. Okay, 600 right there. Oh, nope, I missed. I ranged for a tank, but I don't know what that is. Oh, no, that's a 113, isn't it? Okay, that might be closer then. Probably 400. Yeah, there we go. Direct hit with the heat round. We're using PG-15s in this. The BMP-1 is a uh, interesting vehicle that shoots this round. This round is shared with the SPG round. Um, you might know the SPG from Squad. Nice. Heck yeah. Oh, I think we're taking hits from somewhere. Let me jump out. Where are we taking hits from? Oh, there's artillery up ahead. Maybe it's a cluster munition. I hear a jet flying over. That's cool. Oh yeah, there's jets. What what jets are those? Are those Tomcats? I can't tell. Oh shit. Oh man, I should have been distracted. Oh, I think I'm dead. I, I can click tab to switch. I don't know what jets those were. Uh, I can switch to the BM another BMP1. Okay. Yeah, apparently that thing was still hitting us. You know what? Let's try the uh, Malyutka missile. This thing's got a tow missile of sorts. I think it's F key. Yep, there we go. Okay, I have no idea how this is going to shoot. Okay, I bring it down. Oh, okay, that was very fast. I need to be a lot more careful with that. Okay. Fire, go down, go down, 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 down. No! <laughs> I think I've only got one more. Damn it. Oh, this thing goes... It's so sensitive. I, I want to hit this, though. Come on, just go down lightly. Very lightly. No! <laughs> it's so fast! Okay. Uh, well, switch weapons back to the uh, standard round here. Orange meters. Oh. Oh, I'm on PKT. Okay. Hit Commander's brain. I think they're dead. Penetrated Commander's pelvis. I think I saw Penetrated Commander's skull and jaw and brain, so I'm pretty sure they are very dead. No clue. Oh, whoa, left side. Holy. Hello, M60 tank. This isn't going to do anything. Nope. Yep. Nope. There he is. Uh, this thing does not have a laser rangefinder or anything. Oh! <laughs> okay, they're dead. They're dead for sure. Um... I don't know how to push this, though. I feel like we should be in the tree line. Pushing with BMP-1s like this is scary, man. Yeah, look, there's that bombing again. I wonder if we could push up close. I think one of those 113s is like a tow 113. So they've got anti-tank capabilities. I really like that, uh, that depth of field in Boca on this site here. That's cool. And no stabilization. Yeah, this is a cool game, man. I'm gonna be playing this for a little bit tonight. Okay, there's that 113. He's dead as hell. Look at him. He's, he's gone. Can I get the uh, PKT on this guy? There we go. Gunner's dead. What's lucky about the PKT turret is that its trajectory, its um, uh, external ballistics, almost match up with the external ballistics of the PG-15 round, which 
if I didn't say it already, PG-15 is what is also used in the SPG turrets, the uh, static turrets that we have in squad, if you play squad. You might recognize it. I'm just gonna hit that guy. We're gonna push up here before that tank shows up. I think it's in, I think it's to our left. And I think this third 113 is the tow 113, so we're gonna hit him really quick. Uh-oh, I only pinned some things, not everything though. I'm gonna hit him again. Stopped by fuel tank. Man, this thing is not pinning. Oh, they're on fire though. Oh, he's still up there. Switch the PKT. Kill him. I don't know if that's the tow missile one. I hear explosions behind us now. Okay. I hear. No, that's Artie. Okay, that's Artie. Okay, we destroyed this line. <laughs> the tree shaking is amazing. That's actually really good looking. Okay, yeah, these 113s are all dead. I'm gonna keep pushing. I'm gonna peek out here. See if we can see anything. I don't know where that M60 pops up from exactly, so... Malyuka is going through my face. Um, I want to try that Malyuka. Whoa, there's the M60. All right, let's try to Malyuka this. Uh, he's not looking yet. Click F. Okay, Malyuka. All right, let's try this. Oh, wow, the other one just shot too. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, 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 no. Did I lose control? I think I lost control. Damn it. It's so sensitive. Trust me, it looks so easy, but it's a lot harder. Down, 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 down. Smooth. Smooth. Oh, no, I'm wiggling. He got one. Oh! Oh! <laughs> okay, they're hitting him with their Malyukas now. Man, I was so close! I want to hit it at least once. There we go! Got it! Nice! Ha, ha, ha! Oh, sick. Okay. Well, we won. That's the game. We just had to kill that tank and that group of 113s, and that's the mission. We are complete. All right, let's try out like an Abrams now. Let's see what an Abrams can do. All righty. Whoa. Look at that. So, <laughs> the Alice packs on the Abrams turret move. And also, on the, on the turret to my left... He's got different bags on different parts of the turret than I. Sorry, just a little little details like that that are pretty neat. All right, we're f we're uh, flying. <laughs> I just said flying. We are flying the M1 Abrams today. Now after the BMP1, look at this. It's fast. It's got a turret with big ol' zooms. Look at that. Uh, is night vision? No. Nope. Uh, T for thermal. Thermal is T. All right. M1 Abrams has laser range finding, as well as it can. Uh, it can detect the movement between you and the target, or if the target's moving, the target and you, uh, with the laser range find, and it can lead the target for you. And when Abrams is kind of built different, for tough sort of vibes from this from this tank. Um, just me and another Abrams here. We're gonna roll up and see what this contact report was to the southeast, and uh, hopefully. Not get blasted by T-72s in the process. We got a big angle here. I wonder if we can spot anything from out here. I can't yet. Rear. Ooh. Jets overhead. Don't know where. I'm looking. Can't see them. Ooh, tank's front. Ooh, shit. Oh, dry. Oh, my gosh. The scream. The scream! Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Holy dude, that voice acting. Yep, 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 yep. I'm loading, I'm loading, I'm loading. Holy shit. Uh, driver's heavily wounded. I don't think I can drive this anymore. I think we're stuck. Oh, there's another one though. Scout car. I think terrain stopped it. Yep. Where, 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 where? Oh, tank's really far out. I see that. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. 
I can't see. Oh, do I have to lead it? I don't know if I have to lead it. I think these are just really far shots. Crap, we're so stuck. Oh, we hit it. I don't think we're going to live through this. Yeah, the driver got hit immediately. Oh! Wow, this is spooky. Oh, he's uh, he's on fire, and that turret just popped. Something's off to the right, making dust. Yep, another tank. Whoa. Oh, stop by terrain. No! Go back. Aim, aim armor, aim armor. Woo! So, T-72s don't have cease fire? I don't, uh, I'm still scared. I'm gonna shoot anyways. Look at that fire effect, man. Wow. Oh, that was a T-55? I don't know. I think that's a T-55. I don't think that was a T-72. There's a scout car! Scout car! <laughs> the scout car's running. Oh, look at that. Holy, man. Wow. Can I... Oh, it was so close. For some reason, this gets really fuzzy at that range. I'm guessing thermals at the time still weren't super, super high res like they are nowadays. If you've ever seen down a striker barrel... Oh, stop my train again. I think I'm hitting side overboard or something. If you ever seen the striker's thermal system? It's nuts. You can see a guy at, like, two miles with the striker thermal system. Where'd that scout car go? He's still running. Wait, no, that's not a scout car. Boop. Popped his engine. I don't know where the scout car went though. I can see pieces of the tank glowing hot. That's cool. Oh, there's something else. There's the scout car. What's uh, let's load heat FS after this. He's toasted. The scout car is down here. Yep, there's the scout car. We got heat loaded now. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, nope, he's he's doing circles. I think he's trying to juke us out. <laughs> yeah, he's toast. He's toast after that. Okay, I'm gonna load APFS DS next. Probably gonna put this heat into. Uh... Oh, I think I saw gunfire. I don't know. Dude, the Abrams is nuts. I, I, <laughs> you read about the first battles that the Abrams was in, and it did extraordinarily well. I mean, it was going up against tanks. I think it was going up against mostly T-55s and uh, potentially old BMPs. I don't know what it went up against, but the first battle it was in, I'm pretty sure Desert Storm. I can't remember the battle's name in particular. Abrams was uh, was outranging the enemy. The enemy was firing shots at our Abrams tanks, and we were able to laser range find, and I believe the first shot fired from the Abrams in the battle hit directly on and popped a tank. Again, non-credible defense until I actually go and reread what I'm talking about. But the Abrams, especially for its time, was insanely powerful. That is a T-72, I believe. I can't tell. Ooh! That heat round. That heat round just blasted that one up. Okay, I think that one's smoking. I can't tell. Ooh, tank front right. Oh, that's friendly. And, uh... Oh my gosh, that's nuts. Hitting shots on moving tanks at 2,700 meters. Or feet, I don't know what this is. Oh! <laughs> All right, T-72. Here's the T-72, probably one of the most used tanks right now in the modern day, because it's in the Ukrainian war on both sides. T-72s are Russia's main battle tank right now. They've got some newer Gen 1s, but this is the one they've produced the most and are using the most right now. Enemy positions just to our right. Oh, okay. Uh, let's aim that way, then. T-72 is a bit slower. It's uh, definitely older, I'm pretty sure, than our Abrams. And it doesn't have the same uh, targeting 
as our tank does, as night vision. Doesn't have thermal on this version. I think that's a T90 or T80 that gets thermals. Or maybe some newer T72s. Oh, yep, we got some 113s. All right, laser range, find, and goodbye. Kill that. Maybe I should have looked at if there's any bigger targets out here. I can't see anything out there, though. Yeah, just that one. Okay, enemy counterattack. Okay. Don't know where the enemy counterattack is going to be from. I think our BMP-1 just fired on something. I'm going to go up there with him. But uh, we've got some different rounds for this. We've got high explosive. Whoa! Holy, okay. Okay. Time to move. Time to move. Wow, that's a very realistic looking effect. Yeah, here's the fighters overhead. Maybe F4s? I can't tell what that is. Whew. Okay, that BMP-1 just fired to the left. What's he shooting at? What is he shooting at? Oh, yep, 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 there they are. Prepare for enemy counterattack. I see it. I see the enemy counterattack. Hit that one. I love the amount of smoke and dust. Oh, stop by terrain. He was just over. Okay, he ran back. They both ran back. Yeah, we're all clear here. I think that was two M60s. I think they both ran back. I don't know how to order my, uh, is there an order, let commander aim space? Could I tell them how to, like, form next to me? Because they're all in a column right now. Quick action menu, platoon, movement, no, formation, line. Oh, man. Oh, man, this game. Heck yeah. Oh, there they are. Okay, I'm going to laser range find. Hit it. See if we can uh, hit him again. Probably the same range. Stop by terrain. Okay. Maybe not. I'll laser range find here. Oh, he's gone. Oh, nope. There's the second one. There we go. Uh oh, I hear, I hear uh, planes again. I don't know how I'd be able to hear planes from inside the cockpit, but... Maybe it's for gameplay. I don't know what planes those are. That looked like a fish bed, but I don't know. I'm probably totally getting that wrong. Okay, there's that M60 again. He's he's not moving. I'm going to hit him in the butt one more time. I'm going to hit him with a heat round next. If I can reload that, uh, I don't know if I can unload with this. The auto loader in this does allow for really quick fire. Oh, you could hear the auto loader kind of whirring a little bit longer. Oh, there goes our uh, artillery or cluster munitions or something again. Uh oh, BMP-1 just got hit a little bit. Oh, he just fired. Oh, we're taking incoming. Okay. Turning that way. I've got heat loaded, so this is going to be funny. Oh, he just popped the turret. No, buddy. It didn't have to be like this. Oh, is he just over those trees or under? I think he's over the trees. Yep, yep, yep. One, one, three. Oh, hello. Heat round. Penetrated engine firewall. Oh, nice. Yeah, he's, he's, uh, we got a mobile, mobile kill. Yeah. <laughs> I think we've just got a good angle. They're going downhill. So we're catching them on that downhill angle. Worked out pretty well. Okay, I'm going to back us up. I forgot that the T-72 does not back up very quickly. There's a 1-1-3 formation on our left. All right, I'm turning. Going to kill us some, some little shit boxes. 
Doo -doo. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how much armor's on the front of a 113, but it's not enough. I cannot believe that thing is still rolling. It still moved. Oh yeah, it's dead now. Hit commander's brain. Yeah, I bet so. All right, we can click in to view an action after action report. Oh, that's cool. You can see how much spalling that caused. How do I move to like the next one? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, A and D. All right, so here. Oh, this shows every hit. Interesting. Okay, so that's the tank we saw down the hill, I think. Oh, that's crazy. It's moving the tanks around. Okay, so here's, yeah, that was the rear shot we got on the turret. That was the first shot we got off. Here's the second shot. Oh, no, that was the tank that was farther away. Interesting. Look at the spalling bouncing around in the cabin. That is so cool. I don't know if these are perfectly in order. I'm not sure. Check that out. It looks like it bounced underneath the turret into the turret from underneath it and then you can see some spalling went through yeah that penetrated the right gunner's arm or gunner's right arm this hit the engine block that was a far shot yeah we hit a few different shots in this guy because i i didn't know if he was dead or not it looks like we disabled his engine and probably blew up some ammo on the inside gosh <laughs> Oh, perfect shot right in the turret ring. See, that was our heat round too. So you can really see the explosive power of the heat round inside. It spreads that spalling everywhere. That's cool. And then this was another round on, it was a heat round that hit right on the front hood and still penetrated. That was like a good 30 degree angle maybe. Man, eh, actually no, it's like less. It's like a 20 degree angle. Wait, WS to ride shot path? Whoa. Oh, that's cool. You can see where the shot went. Oh, that's so cool. Z to focus on shooter. O to toggle x-ray. Oh, that's neat. How cool. So yeah, this one, this is when we started engaging the 133s. That was the first shot. Driver instantly just destroyed. That was a heat round. I wonder how a high explosive round would even do with this. I wonder if it would pin whatever front plate is on the 113s. Well, cool game. Like, just a few minutes. I mean, I've been playing for, what, 30 minutes now-ish. And, uh, yeah, what does this game cost on Steam? I gotta go look. I bought it, like, a few months back, which is why I don't remember. If it's, like, uh, 29 Okay, I was gonna say, if it's 29 bucks, it's a definite, definite buy. I would say, at 30 bucks, I would say, if you're a tank person... This game is worth it. If you like tanks, if you, if you, because this is definitely a realistic, more tank sim light sort of game. I'm obviously very ignorant when it comes to tank history and science and stuff, but um, I had fun. I had fun playing this. It's cool. Definitely would be down to come back and check it out with uh, future updates because this is pretty neat. Pretty cool game. Okay. And we were just doing um, the instant actions. There's also a campaign which has larger game modes that are a bit more, I guess, lengthy. Um, you can like choose a faction and then you can I guess there's maps coming out in the future and there's like two bars up here I think they represent who's winning on each mission and I guess depending on how many missions you win or lose maybe um, That goes up and down and eventually kind of you win a conquest. I guess um, Still pretty cool game gunner PC check it out on Steam. Uh, I like it. I would rate it good solid You know, it, it's it's like a 7 out of 10 if you are just a milsome gamer. I would say it's like a nine out of ten if you're a tank guy, though, because this is a this is a game for you. Anyways, thanks for watching. Make sure to sub for future games like this. Let me know in the comments if you want me to check out any games. I've been playing a lot of the same games recently. Kind of wanted to get something new to try out for the channel, and this is a great example of that. Look, there's even MREs in the back of the Abrams on the rack. That's cool. I think that's MREs. That's neat. All right, I'll see you guys. Bye.